Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name on YouTube, I'm Lillian from Kenya to Montana, USA. On Facebook, I'm Sarah Kandega. So guys, welcome back here. Um, I always talk about my experience here in USA. As you know, I'm still new, around six months now, six months old. So I talk about my journey and what I go through life uh, and how life has been, has been since I left Kenya and the differences I faced since I left Kenya to this place. So thank you for viewing my content. Thank you for liking. Thank you for leaving a comment. Thank you for sharing and thank you for subscribing. And today I just want to talk to a small group of people. Uh, I believe uh, those are nurses who are on transition. Like those who are already here, they have um, attached to the hospitals, to their new hospitals, like your first uh, three months. I believe it's it's hard, it's very difficult to adjust from, from the hostels we were back in Kenya and here in the USA. So that's, that's the period I want to talk about, those the first three months. I believe the first at least two months you are on orientation and the third month you are uh, working alone so i know i've been there and i know it's hectic especially you see you just landed here we have you are new you are in the in a new state you're in a new country you are meeting new people you are meeting a new system you are meeting new procedure you are meeting a new um environment you are meeting new, everything is just new to you. You got a new language that you need to, to deal with. You are a new driver here. So everything is new to you and it's kind of uh, confusion. It's kind of uh, stress that pulls you down. Most of the people, I believe so. Because I, I talk from my own experience, I felt it was too heavy for me to carry so like uh when i'm here i'm just going to give you uh like moral support moral support and let you know that it's it's like that to everyone everybody is going through that in the first uh three months i believe so and uh, what depends it depends with the reaction how you react to these stresses that are you are going to encounter like everything is a stress let's say when you get to that uh, hospital on a monday morning you know you need to drive yourself from your apartment to the hospital you don't even know uh, the place you're going to park your car maybe you don't even know what your car is like because you just bought it like two days ago and the third day you're ready you're already working. You're going to pack it somewhere far and where you are, your facility is, okay, most of the facilities are so big. Uh, these agents are taking you to big facilities. So there are cars every car parks are everywhere. And these cars like look the same. And the place, you know, you are not even used to that place, the environment, you don't know. You, you get to this door, you're getting to this door, you. It's just such a confusion for a new person. So it's a stress. You just started already with the stress driving from your apartment to the hospital. And then the person you are meeting is um, your preceptor. This is someone you're going to stay with for like for, for two months. Some people like for one month. You're going to tag along this person and it's not easy. Maybe if especially if this person will not like you it's not easy but uh it's very rare most of them are our managers choose the best preceptors for us unless just something happens but most of them are good so you're going to meet the first person you're going to work with for these two months is the, your preceptor she tells you your name the next second you've forgotten what is what was her name <laughs> at times you even when you go somewhere, you go to the bathroom and come back, you wonder who was my precept, is it this one or this one? Especially now that they have masks on, you don't know 
who was she? Okay, you check on the name tags and then you can relate. Yeah, she, this is my preceptor. That is the first day. He is introducing you to something that you don't even understand. You're going to, to see patients. This is your first encounter with these patients. Most of us are used to uh, black, um, same color, Africans, and few Americans. The Americans who come to our country, uh, uh, they, are, they know us, like we interact with them. They are not like the ones you are going to meet here. Because then, the, especially when you come to these interior areas, they are not used to other, they are not used to blacks. So you are going to meet this person for the first time. There is that stress is like, how is he going to take me? How is the reception? But believe me, most of them are good, especially when they see you, they want to know more about you. And that's where you get tension because he's going to ask. You just introduce yourself and he start asking you, where do you come from? How is this place? What is this place? This is what you are going to talk about. You're going to talk about yourself and where you come from also. Everybody is going to ask you that. So it's another stress. The other thing you're going to meet, um, new machines, you're going to, the procedures, you learned about them, but now you are on the ground, you're going to meet them. You're going to meet those, uh, the Omnicell. The first time you'll find it so hard. You'll find it so complicated, but with time you find, ah, why was I feeling like this thing is complicated? No, but because you are new to this thing, you are new to Omnicell. I'm not talking about those hospitals who have them uh, back at home. Yes, you might be having them, but this one is uh, it's a high tech system. You get to the like we use a uh, SENA documentation. Everything is online. You need to document. Uh, we're not used to doing like, you know, we might get, you, we, we've always been told things, these procedures, like you need to flush the IV line like every four hours. Now you are coming here is a reality. You must do it. Every four hours, you have to go and flush an IV line. You come and find the procedures. You're doing them I do, I do think just the way the book says. It's so hard to adjust because back home you could like a dressing, a simple dressing. Okay, you will look for water for injection from there, something, another one from there. You're going to collect everything. But here, it's simple. They have provided you with everything. But now you, because you're not used to. They have made your life easier, but you are not used to this thing. So it becomes like a stressor, like I know the other process, I would have just gotten this, 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 and I'm done already. You are used to fixing IV lines, you just sharply hold the hand and put. Now you are here like, the cannula itself is so different. You wonder how, where, where are the butterflies that I need to hold to push this line in? Nothing, they look like needles. So the procedures are new, uh, the system is new. Okay, you're going to you're going for a lunch break, and you're going to find people having buns. You see, you're used to you know some things are for breakfast, some things are for lunch, but now you find that food is just different. You don't even know what to cook. You don't even know what to carry to work. It's another stressor. You. You have, uh, when we talk about patients, patients to our colleagues. These are new people, you don't know what to talk about. You have colleagues, but you can't contribute anything because you don't know what they want, they would like to hear. And you don't know whether they, it's just that you are holding. But I prefer holding that just going to into a place and just spilling yourself, telling a lot about yourself. I don't think it's good. It's better I just keep quiet and learn people first. I, that's my way. When I get to a new place, I go slow. 
I keep quiet, learn people is when when I know everyone is when I can start talking about things, talking about myself. But me just getting to a new environment and starting talk like no, I don't do that. But you might be different, people have different personalities. If you are the kind of person you just go someone you just that hey, you talking, yeah. That's you, be you. Yeah. But I would advise when you get to a, this environment, go slow. Go slow on your talking. Don't talk so much about yourself. Don't talk so much about your people back at home. You know, you want to describe the hospitals back at home. You want to describe the kind of nurses that are, will come from your home. I don't think it's good, but it's your personality. You can go ahead and tell people what you think is right for yourself and for everybody else. So with all these things, how, how do you deal with them? It's a total mess. It's a total stress. So what I think, what I, what helped me is uh, speaking to someone. Speaking to someone is just when you, you talk to someone, tell someone what you are feeling. But you must be very careful on to choose on who to talk to. You should be very careful. You rather even talk to someone back in Kenya and tell him or her, this is what I'm facing, than talk to someone here who will go and talk about you to your colleagues and, you know. So choose carefully, but just open up. Tell someone I'm going to, today has been like this, like this. So once you talk about it, it gets out of your heart. Yeah. And another thing you need during this, Three months you need to focus just um, let be humble let pe let your preceptor or your colleagues teach you be the fool even if you know something please let them teach you don't be like ah oh, yes I know it yes I know it let them teach you you, see, you can say yeah I know it's a Kenyan way but you can teach me your way it's not wrong and they are so happy to teach you they feel so good teaching you and they're not mean so be asking this question if you don't understand anything ask they are they, even if you ask 10 10 times they will answer you to me that's how i survive even now even a, a year later you'll still be asking because i told you we are new to these things we are new super new yeah, it's not like um, the sanctioning that we used to do. It's different. But the good thing you have the knowledge, you have the knowledge that this should be done like this. It just you don't know how they are doing because they are using sophisticated uh, equipments. So you need to learn them. You come here, you you find you in Kenya you are doing nebulizations, but here. That's the respiratory therapist work to nebulize. Yeah. And uh, another, uh, apart from talking to someone, uh, it's also you can talk to your manager. I found this uh, in the beginning, the first one month, I used to fear my manager, but I came to realize she was the best person I would talk to. And even up to now, I just when I come from a floor and I find something that did not, that that was, um, that hurt me, I have to go through her office and let her know what I'm feeling. Uh, I, I always change from, I go there when my heart is full, like, hey, I don't want to come back here. But after talking to her, I come out from that office a changed person, like, Hmm. I need to come back. I need to pick extra sheets, you know. So talk to someone. I found maybe I don't know about your manager, but they are approachable. It's just the first time you you kind of keep off your fear, but they are the best people to talk to. Like myself, I work on the floor, and most Kenyans we work on the floor. And the floors means we float. Like we have the medical surgical has um, 
I believe four four floors, and each floor has north and south. Not so it's just a big thing. So today you go, you find you are on your north. I don't know IPS north. The tomorrow when you are coming, you are on the other floor. So it's like you are all over, and you're going to meet very different people. Some people might be mean to you. So what I do after that shift, I go through my boss's uh, office and explain. And also, if you get an incident, after putting, like, the, we call it here, safety net, you put online that safety net, I go through my in-charge office, my manager's office, and tell her, you know, shit happened today. Shit happened. Yeah, and they'll tell you, ah, that was not shit, you know. You do, you did this because you did not know. Now you know. Explain to if he if he realizes you don't know, she takes time to explain to you. She can she takes me back to the my unit and shows me this is what to do, this is what to do. You did this because you did not know. But now you know. We don't expect you to make the same mistake. So it's, I just feel nice going through so that office. You can try the same if it will work for you better so talk to someone that will help you i don't like carrying this stress to my family because when i come and tell them or i talk call back home and telling my mom i'm going through this no it will not <laughs> be putting stress on to people that they don't need so it's your colleague like we have colleagues at home uh, at work uh fellow blacks so we just call and say hey today kulienda ivi this happened and he'll tell you oh you're just talking about yourself i was in trouble today this happened and then you laugh about it and forget about it you forge around the last thing i want to tell you is be nice to yourself be nice however difficult this situation might be be nice to yourself you're the most important person here you are the most important person in all this situation love yourself be nice to yourself tell yourself that you are new here and you are learning you just like from college and you are learning new things so you making a mistake is not like you killed someone no you are learning take time to learn ask questions be nice to yourself, love yourself. Don't feel like, oh, I've done this because I don't know, because I'm so stupid, because I'm nobody's stupid. No one is stupid here. Even if someone tells you like, uh, you are from this hostel, you are going to have a hard time, no. There's nothing like that. It's your attitude to that word learning. You come here and you learn faster. Things are very will be very simple for you. And learning faster means just being open-minded. Don't start, um, maybe you are an in-charge or you are a clinical mentor somewhere and you are coming here, you see a 21-year-old. Actually, there are very young girls. A 21-year-old showing is your preceptor and she's showing you things around and then you feel like, hmm. No, be all open-minded and um, respect people, respect them, show them respect ask them question yeah and they will be so happy they're always what i love about these americans they always help you out yeah the the other um the most difficult time again apart from your orientation now the first month working on your own you've done on orientation six to eight weeks now you're starting to work on your own this first month it becomes Hell, it's like that to everyone, not you alone. So don't be hard to yourself. It's difficult to everyone because now you are there's no one to guide you. Okay, people are there, you need to help them, but you are not working under supervision. You are working on your own. You are having your own patients. You have your own six patients. Remember, the first two months during your orientation, you had six patients, but you have you had your preceptor and you. So the two of you are nursing six patients, but now you are alone nursing your six patients. It's, it's difficult, but um, you just go slow, 
where you don't know ask the important thing ask ask question don't answer just ask 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 it's, it's better you be late than better be late and do the correct thing than go fast and do a wrong thing okay so that's just what i wanted to tell you and about the those people who have i've talked to they were struggling with this thing of um maybe medication you stay and you find after 30 minutes there is a red your medication tylenol has turned red so what i always do is uh when you're sitting down after the report when you're sitting down make sure you're writing this my patient one has this treatment at one has this treatment at two because it's <clears throat> it's still 7 p.m but you want to know what they have throughout the night write them down so that nothing nothing turns red on you you don't delay on medicine because every hour you are going to give medicine but you can give an hour early and an hour late so these three hours can be given um 7 p.m 8 p.m and 9 p.m medication can be given together you can put put them together you know yeah and it will be easy for you and when you are receiving report make sure you seeing the patient you have to go if they tell you they have a wound vac or something make sure you are seeing where is that thing go inside and see what is she talking about at times you people are clever but clever outside there you'll be told uh, the fluid is running and you'll be so sure this fluid is running so you'll be doing other things by the time you're going there there was no fluid that was attached to this patient and you know you are already four hours late it turns against you not the person who handed over to you so you must go and see after he has handed over to you or you can choose to go for a bedside report get inside involve the patient in your report yeah and as he talks you are seeing what the patient it looks like you have a clear picture so you guys i wish you all the best and know that you are not the only one uh, in this situation everybody has gone through this but uh those are the first three months and the first month fourth month you'll be like a pro <laughs> you like you know most of these things let's say um 70% of this thing, at least you know the basics. You, you are running through very fast. So don't be hard on yourself. Love yourself. Um, yeah. And you'll make it. Thank you so much. And welcome back again to my next video. Bye-bye.